Welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted. It is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so. More in actual fact, the we. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. And that gets things running. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Saul. His brilliant technical ability and eye of the needle passing can make a, a big difference to this team. He's got a wonderful engine too and, and seems to always get himself involved in the thick of the action at both ends of the pitch. Yeah, still certainly be leaning heavily on him. We're not going to make any further progress now. Tierney. Ruben Neves. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Hazard plays it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Willock. Ruben Neves. there to hoof it away look at the defender bombing forward Pepe has a hit and it's a goal Arsenal take the lead well, he was never going to miss from there Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Arsenal break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. He's looking to get there first. Gabriel. Arsenal are very much in charge here. Dominating possession and a goal to the good. He's straight offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Werner. Oh, that's nice. Chelsea have a free kick. 
Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. And the ball's come out. Look at the goal. A real chance and a real let off. Tierney. And it's Correa. And here's Aubameyang. Kante goes looking. Now the counter. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Chilwell is fouled. Now it's Saul. Obamian. Correa. Now it's Pepe. Pepe has a look inside the box. Drilled in look. Obamian hits it! It's Ruben Neves, and the weighted pass. Rice. And it's shot a goal! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Hostel have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Hostel ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. And we're already back on the way here. Hakimi. Rice. Harvats. Chambers drives it forward. Pepe. Pepe hits that long. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Schuller goes upfield. Uh, needed a better pass there. Saul hoists it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. That's clearly not what he wanted to do. Now it's Saul. 
Saul proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Werner! Werner really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. And it's played forward. Tierney. Rice tried to play it through, uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Willock. He came in hard, very hard. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. And he's... It's Asa! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Forward it goes. And here's Pepe. Obama, yeah. Big chance! And more, and more, and more. Surely that settles it. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. <laughs> Arsenal take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Rice. Thiago Silva. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Partey takes control of it and he's on the move and it's played forward oh, that's... good ball it's found its target has a pop it goes to show he is human after all all he'll be thinking is please ground swallow me up Chelsea making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Looking to get with it, has a pop! Oh, that is an awful miss. Rice looked very impressive there. Well, at least until he got into a shooting position, something I'm sure he'll want to have a go at again. Tierney. Correa. It's got through to him. Obama Yang. Mombi deals with it effortlessly. Willock. Partey. Tries to think it in. Good take, and he's had a look. It's broken loose. Time added on will be two minutes. He could be in here. Pulisic. Pulisic! All the balls come loose. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Arsenal comfortable winners. A virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Arsenal made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form.